Sup chaps! So how are you doing? Welcome back to another episode of my channel. So today I'm going to tell you the explanation of the chapter My Donkey Sally which is an extract from the book Birds, Beasts and Relatives by Anna Durrell. So let us begin without wasting a nanosecond. So here in this chapter we are going to read about uh, the poet, uh, the author itself, and what uh, and uh, the incidents he's describing. He is telling us that he has got a donkey as his pet, and now how he is protecting the donkey, and what all struggles and what all hard work did he do to in order to get that donkey. Now let us read. Ever since we arrived in Corfu, I had been aware that there were vast numbers of donkeys there. But I had not really thought about them until we had gone to Katrina's wedding. Here, a great number of donkeys had brought their babies, many of them only a few days old. I was enchanted by their soft knees, their great ears and their wobbling, uncertain walk. And I had decided that come what might, I would possess a donkey of my own. So yeah, here we are getting a brief introduction on what the author is trying to talk about. So here he is telling that he never really thought about donkeys. Now obviously he was living in a city and he did not know much about donkeys. He he didn't he seldom got to see the donkeys. And here when he arrived at Katrina's wedding, he went to Corfu. I think it is probably his village and he uh, he he might have shifted over there. So he went to Katrina's wedding and he had seen many donkeys over there. Now he's explaining the donkey's appearance. So he, he was quite enchanted. Enchanted meaning here is filled with delight. So enchanted meaning the he was quite attracted towards the thing. So he was quite attracted or enchanted, you can say in, uh, you know, advanced English that he was enchanted by the wobbling uncertain walk that is the the baby donkeys when they're small they walk in a very very uncertain manner they stagger as if they're about to fall so they were walking in that way and they looked very adorable while doing that of course any baby walking and falling and playing is very adorable so similarly the donkey was also quite appealing for the person and hence that, that was the root cause of his wish. Now, there he started visualizing that he wanted a donkey as his pet. So now he tried to convince his mother. We are going to read it ahead. I told mother that I would willingly forego all the other gifts if she gifted me a donkey on my birthday. I explained that if I had a donkey to carry me and my things, I could go further afield. Mother only said she would see. Now, what do you mean by foregoing all the gifts? It means giving up all the gifts. So probably it was, uh, it was going to be the author's birthday was coming near. And, and he might be thinking the, that, oh, it's my chance. I can, I can convince my mother to give, gift me that donkey as a birthday present. So he was like, he could, he could give up all the gifts for that donkey and, and he was trying to tell mother the benefits of that donkey. Now, when we have a donkey, we can use it to carry our loads. We can we can ourselves sit on that donkey and we can go further afield. Further afield means a larger dis distance. So if supposing the boy is able to walk 500 meters a day, the, the boy will be able to travel the double of it. That is one kilometer a day. So he is saying that he could go further afield. Now he's trying to convince his mother to the level best. He's trying his level best to try to persuade her mother to let him buy a donkey, to let him get a donkey as a pet for his birthday. So now let us go ahead. Then one day, Costas, the brother of our maid, began to erect a bamboo house in the olive grove for mother. I was astonished. I asked Costas, what does mother want to do with a bamboo house? Now, here in the previous paragraph, I forgot to mention that mother did not show much reaction. She was very normal about it. She wasn't very particular about having a donkey. She said that, okay, she will see, she'll try her level best. So this discouraged the author in some way and he might have stopped talking about the donkey because 
he thought that okay her, his mother is not very interested to give him a donkey now after a few days something weird happened now costus is another character in the story he is uh, the brother of their maid so maid's brother so their servant's brother's name was costus and he also probably was working over there and he started building a bamboo house now what is a bamboo house it's a kind of a house made up of bamboo shoots bamboo plant and for for an extra information i would like to tell you it is made in japan uh, they they were usually made in the villages of japan and they are earthquake resistant also so now let us go ahead so now he started erecting the bamboo house in the olive grove now what is a olive grove here so grove is a small wooden group of trees it's not exactly woods or forested area it is a place with lot of trees and less houses and yeah okay so that was a olive grove only olive trees were there it was kind of a orchard you can say so he started making that bamboo house now now the the author seems to be a quite minute observer so he was like asking that what does mother want to do with the bamboo house now obviously if somebody is doing something weird you would want to know why he or she is doing it and he had all the right to ask the servant that what his mother was doing now let's proceed <laughs> 